Vlogmas Legends, Emily here, and today I have a guest with me. It's Miss Miller, and we are at the Mill Creek Falls scenic area. And we are going to explore some really cool things in nature, including a couple waterfalls, the Rogue River, and some really cool large boulders. So today we're going to learn about a really important concept called Leave No Trace. And Miss Miller, who is a new ES at Logos this year, is here with us and she is going to talk a little bit about what it means to Leave No Trace. Leave No Trace is information and skills that help people protect themselves and also the areas that they visit, like state parks, campgrounds, etc. Leave No Trace is about making good decisions to protect the world around you, the world we all enjoy. And for my family, that looks like when we go to the forest, we are going to leave it cleaner than before we got there. So that could also look like if you are on a trail and you see some trash that was maybe accidentally left by somebody who came before you, you can pick that up and haul it back out with you. So one of the important principles of Leave No Trace is know before you go. So today we are in Prospect, Oregon, which is about an hour from Logos. and. So the weather is maybe a little bit different sometimes up here. So it's probably a little bit cooler here today than it is in Medford. So I dressed in layers. I have a little shirt to put on if it's a little bit cool in the shade of the trees. And I also have a hat in case I need to protect my face from the sun. Another great thing that you could bring is maybe some sunscreen. So it looks like, oh, perfect. Yep, Miss sunscreen. Miller brought sunscreen with. Um, I've got plenty of drinking water to have with me on this trek and then we'll be here for a little while. So um, I also have a first aid kit just in case, hopefully we won't need it, but it's a good thing to have just a small first aid kit you with you when you're um, out in nature. Okay. We also packed our lunches today. So I have plenty of snacks um, to give us energy while we're on this hike. Um, One of the other things that I brought with my bag is a garbage bag so any trash that we have we have somewhere to put it so we can bring it out with us perfect so a couple more important things that we brought with us today first of all is our masks and face shields so today on our hike we are going to be physically distancing so we don't have to wear them the entire time but if there happen to be other people on this trail that we are walking by we'll have them handy so that way we can just throw them on secondly I have with me a little camera, um, which brings me to another principle of leave no trace, which is leave what you find. So maybe we'll be on the trail today and I'll see some really pretty fall leaves or flowers, and I might be really tempted to pick it up and put it in my pocket and bring it home with me. Um, but one of the principles of leave no trace is that we leave nature in nature. So that's where my camera comes in. So today we're going to do a photo scavenger. Let's go. All right, we are getting close because we can hear the water. So we must be getting close to the falls. Let's keep going. Bar Creek Falls 
and there's a few down trees and we've had some wind storms this year so that's probably what knocked these trees over. Um, I'm not sure if the path is safe for us to get around so we're going to get a little bit closer and see if there's a way to get around the trees safely but if not we might just have to wait and see Bar Creek Falls next time and go look at some of the other things this time. So. The road is definitely entirely blocked. And I can see the other side of the trail on the other side of these down trees. Um, I don't think there's a safe way for us to get over this today. So maybe these trees will be cleared out by the time you guys come and visit the falls for yourself. But for today, we're just gonna head back and head to the Avenue of the Bold. walking a little ways and we're starting to see some really big rocks so I think we're getting close to Avenue of the Boulders so we're just about there. All right so we're here we have our sign that says to Avenue of the Giant Boulders and to the river we can hear it rushing behind us. I think we're gonna head and explore the river first because we just saw some people head towards the boulders so we're gonna give them some space um, and physically distance with them so they can enjoy um, the boulders and then we'll give them some time and then go check that out next. We made it to the avenue of the boulders you can hear the water rushing behind us and now we're gonna stop and have a little lunch break and we just finished up eating our lunches we have all of our trash picked up and we left our area really clean here than we found it and i also grabbed a quick photo of the blue water for our scavenger hunt and now we're going to go to our last stop which is pierce Falls. We're actually going to hike back to our vehicle and drive a little ways up the road to get to that trail. Okay, so we're at the trailhead for Pearsony Falls. It was just a short way up the road from where we parked to do the Mill Creek Falls. Bar Creek Falls and Avenue of the Boulders Trail. And so now we have another Leave No Trace that Miss Miller is going to tell us about. It's really important, no matter what hiking trail you go on, to always stay on the path, the designated trail. So it's also important that you don't try and make your own trails. So if you see something that you want to go see, but the trail that you're on doesn't go to it, it's super important that you stay on the trail that's there anyway. with your family to enjoy nature's beauty and that you remember some of the things you learned about how to leave no trace. I'm Emily and I'm Miss Miller and, and it's, it's been, been legendary. legendary.